light that shines twice as bright. Burns, burns half as long. surrounded uh, you know by old things old ideas old old memories and I got to just be present be now look forward so I'm thinking of um, just getting rid of everything um, shedding comfort uh, lightening my, my load bills gone this apartment gone <laughs> It still blows me away. It's a shocker, really, that I'm not uh, acting anything right now. You uh, don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bum, which is what I am. Let's face it. It's part of the reason why moving out and getting rid of everything that's kind of comfortable is just not necessary right now. So it's time to get gritty. It's time to, you know, kind of do whatever I need to do. Actually, I call it a dare to be great situation. It's a complete 180 flip. You know? But, um, as long as the situation, as long as this dare to be great is totally in line with, with the goal, with your dream. And that's, uh, for me, it's to get back on screen, um, to get in TVs, film, you know, to be a part of the show. So I think, um, I think I'm gonna have to create my own. When the war is over, the fight is done, we'll be lying in the sun. Yeah, when the war is over, the fight is done, we'll be lying. Home sweet home. Wait a minute, this is not my trailer. This is Breaking Bad trailer. Where are you, Walter White? So what is this dare to be great situation? Uh, you know, I, I've been thinking about something that's been rattling my brain for quite a while. Uh, living in an RV, you know, a trailer or something. Um, I want to think about my art. I want to think about acting. I want to just be creative. You know, film things. Have an adventure. And it's not the first time I thought about this. It's funny. It has me thinking back to years ago when I, my first time through Hollywood, and I worked a lot with great director Tony Kay and uh, Marlon Brando was in the picture at the time, and and we were talking about the story. Uh, he was going to be uh, head of like a troop, a group, tour around the country, and I was thinking like decadent gypsies, um, you know, vagabond playboy. And he'd he'd be pull behind in this airstream and um, you know I think that vagabond is gonna be me now. Hey this is Keith Odette. How are you doing? I got uh, good news. I got a lead on a trailer for Rolling Thunder Nomad Hollywood. So we are in full swing pre-production on the show. Got a big break from my buddy Billy, an old USC friend. Yeah, he saw my post. Said he had a trailer, an Airstream actually. He's gonna let me use it. Thank you, Billy. Listen up and I'll tell a story about an artist growing old. 
Some would try for fame and glory. Others aren't so bold. Everyone and friends and family saying, hey, get a job. Why do you only do that only? Why are you so odd?